Good morning everyone and happy Wednesday from South Park. I'm so excited to be joined by special guests Art Wingerter from Univera and Margaret Lapp from the Olmsted Parks Conservancy. Hi, I'm Margaret Lapp, the South Park Arboretum Curator. And I'm Art Wingerter, CEO of Univera Healthcare. And we're here to celebrate the kickoff of Tree Venture. Welcome to the first tree of the South Park Arboretum Tree Venture. The Ginkgo Biloba, otherwise known as the Maidenhair Tree. Ginkgo Biloba, or Maidenhair Tree, is considered a living fossil. It belongs to a group of ancient plants that existed over 150 million years ago. As you can see, the Ginkgo Biloba Tree has a fan-shaped leaf. In the fall, it has a striking yellow color that makes quite a spectacular show. So what better way to reduce stress than to be out in the woods or taking a hike or taking a walk um, through the park or through the park systems? Choose any one of the Olmstead parks. Um, you'll be amazed, they're fantastic. No better to, way to reduce stress than to be out with nature. So the next tree we're gonna learn about is the American persimmon. Thank you, Art. The American persimmon is also known as the Desperis virginiana. The American persimmon, or persimmon, that word actually comes from the Algonquin. The American Indians use the persimmon fruit, um, which is very reminiscent of a date, it's quite lovely, um, for different cakes and puddings, and um, it's a lovely addition to your next dessert. The American persimmon bark is characteristic of an alligator skin. It's very easy to identify in the winter months. Here we have the Cercidophyllum japonicum, or the Katsura tree. The Katsura tree's bark is a grayish brown and is slightly shaggy. It's lovely throughout the seasons, and this tree is native to both China and Japan. The Cercidophyllum japonicum, or the Katsura tree, the Cercidophyllum means leaves like Cercis, and the common name for Cercis is redbud. Katsura trees have a similar leaf to those of the redbud. They are chordate or heart-shaped. The Katsura tree has a toothed edge leaf, whereas the Cercis or redbud has a smooth edge. Young leaves of the Katsura emerge as a beautiful bronzy purple, fading to a light green as they mature. In the fall, they take on an apricot hue and give off a delightful spicy odor reminiscent of cotton candy. All right, what's your favorite thing about Tree Venture? So the best part of Tree Venture is spending an afternoon with the family, walking around South Park and Hoyt Lake, learning about nature, learning about the tree, and getting a little extra physical activity. So get out there and do it. Thank you all for joining us today. We hope to see you next time. Bye.